Hello all and welcome to another video brought to you by Trekkie1701. This video is purely going to be a response video to Underworld Angel 24 uh, because I was just I had just subscribed to her uh, videos and uh, she posted a video asking some questions and I thought I would answer them through a video rather than typing it out because obviously as everybody I'm sure knows out there, my spelling sucks compared to my video responses. So I just decided to make a video response and, um, you know, try to answer some of her questions that she posted. And uh, she's one of the uh, better, I, I believe she's one of the better YouTubers uh, out there that's posting videos right now. Um, I recently uh, deleted a lot of my uh, a lot of the subscriptions that I had subscribed to purely because I just I don't know what it is lately but it just seems like a lot of nonsense videos were being posted and I just wasn't interested in watching any of them so I still have many uh, people that I've subscribed to and uh, you know I love watching uh, DVDM M&M or I don't know DVDM Anyway, I am going to be posting. I'm going to try to post a link to uh, Underworld Angel 24 uh, videos and uh, let you guys see her yourself. I think, like I said, I think she did some great videos, and uh, hopefully she watches this and uh, gets back to me. Anyway, uh, the first, the answer to uh, her first question, which was. Um, do you tend to buy movies or DVD box sets? Um, and I would have to answer that as a I definitely tend to buy uh, more TV box sets than movies um, these days, especially because I just think that you t I think you get more bang for your buck and more hours of entertainment if you buy a TV box set. Um, especially with a lot of these older TV shows that are just now being released. Um, like a lot of the westerns I've been collecting recently. A lot of the uh, 1960s TV westerns I've been buying recently. And um, just a lot of the older shows had longer seasons back then because uh, the rerun season back in the 60s wasn't nearly as long as it is now and they had more episodes per season. So that's another reason to buy TV box sets and I just like I said I think you get a lot of more entertainment hours than if I simply just bought a one movie on blu-ray um so that being said there are a lot of movies I wish I could have but I just number one I don't have the room and number two um I just don't see it feel the need to run out and buy them right now so um, I hope that answers your first question. Your second question was, how do you feel about Blu-ray? And um, I, I have a very simple question, to, uh, very simple answer to uh, respond to that. And I, I really, really love Blu-ray. Um, I think it is one of the best, you know, new formats to come out right now. Um, Unfortunately, I haven't. I've been, and I go like I said. Uh, I'm strictly Blu-ray right now. Uh, I'm buying all my movie. I try. I'm trying to uh, buy all my movies, old and new, on Blu-ray right now. Uh, just because I think, even though some movies out there right now have a poor Blu-ray quality to them or poor like picture quality, even though they're on on Blu-ray, this. Uh, that being said, I still think you get more, you know, mileage out of a Blu-ray disc than a DVD disc right now because if you bang up a DVD disc, uh, your movie is basically crap if you get enough scratches on the back of your disc. Whereas Blu-ray discs, you can kind of scratch them up and they're still run smoothly as ever. Um, so that's one of the main reasons why I buy most of my movies on uh, Blu-ray now. Um, I don't really get a lot any movies anymore on DVD unless um, like I, I was trying to collect the DC cartoon movies on uh, 
DVD, regular DVD, but even that, they just seem to be releasing those at a faster pace than I can keep up with them. So, you know, it's one of those situations. I wish I could get the some of those DC movies on Blu-ray, though, because I, I really enjoyed some of them. But like I said, they just can't. I can't keep up with them, you know. Uh, I, as far as t collecting TV shows on Blu-ray, I've only bought a few. Um, uh, and a perfect example of why I like Blu-ray and not this new 3D crap that's coming out right now is because you can't transmit older. T See, I'm a fan of older TV shows. Um, and you can't do anything with 3D in older TV shows. You simply can't. And, um, however, you can, if somebody put down the money, you could, uh, you know, make not all, but most of the older TV shows, like I Love Lucy, I think, you could broadcast, or you could sell that on Blu-ray, because I believe that they use film to, uh, film I, I may be mistaken, this may be an incomplete fact or whatever, but I believe most of the older shows used actual film to film the TV shows, um, such as the original Star Trek series, which I got uh, on Blu-ray, and I love it. I think that this is probably one of the better Blu-ray TV show or TV shows to be out on Blu-ray right now. It, the picture quality is really well done. And plus, they give you bonus features galore on these packages, and I just think that they are really fantastic. Um, I tend not to buy Blu-ray TV sets unless the TV show, uh, unless the TV show's first season came out on Blu-ray, like The Office. I probably will still be collecting the regular DVD sets of those, just because the Blu-ray sets only started with The Office, like last season or something like that and I'm not going to be one of those people that collect like half the series in DVD and half the series in Blu-ray so I just if if the TV show starts out on Blu-ray I don't mind collecting in Blu-ray but if it's like in the middle and they start releasing the Blu-ray sets in the middle of the TV series I don't buy the I just go, stay with the DVD sets uh, I did buy Heroes on Blu-ray and uh, once again, it may be the sh crappiest uh, TV show out there, but it looks great on Blu-ray. And I do like uh, this hottie here. Uh, hold on. Let's see if I can point to her. Um, yeah, there we go. This hottie here, uh, this blonde chick, I really dig her. So that being said, that's really the only reason I buy... <laughs> That's really the only reason I'm still collecting heroes on Blu-ray. Um, yeah, but that being said, that's my opinion on Blu-ray. I really hope Blu-ray is here to stay. And, uh, and one of the reasons why I'm against 3D so much these days is because I don't think you could, you know, really release the older TV shows onto 3D, you know, DVD out there. And I can't understand for the life of me this whole 3D nut thing. I do think it's nuts, and uh, I I hope that it's just a fad, but who knows. Um, the next question, um, how do you feel about collector sets? And uh, I, I'm simply going to say I uh, don't really co collect the collector sets in movies, more say. Uh, but as far as TV collector sets go, I do like collecting the TV collector sets because... Um, and I have quite a few. Um, if you look at some of my older videos, I did post some of them. Uh, I find that collecting the t TV collector sets in a box set uh, saves you not only money in the long run, but it also saves you room in your shelf rather than collecting the seasons and having to, you know, put up the room to put all the seasons. It, um, and I find that with most TV seasons, like uh, this bad boy right here, this MASH collector set, uh, it has the whole s series uh, in one nifty box. And um, what I find uh, that I really enjoy in these TV collector boxes is they actually, sometimes they'll add more bonus features 
than if you bought the season sets just by themselves. I noticed they did that with the Seinfeld set and um, what a, I think they did that with the I Love Lucy box set I bought too. So anyway, and this box set actually um, has the MASH movie on DVD, which I was never planning on getting, but I have it now since I bought this box set. Uh, and that, that's kind of cool, you know, because I can always pop it in. I've never watched the movie itself. I've only watched the series. But, um, you know, and it, it's kind of cool. I'm going to show this. I'm going to end up showing this on on uh, on a later date. But uh, I'm definitely going to review this box set at a later date and uh, let you guys get a good look at it. But I find that I, if I can get a complete television series in a box set, I'd rather go with that than collecting the individual seasons uh, for a number of reasons. So that I hope that answers your third question. Uh, fourth question, since joining YouTube, how has your collecting, has your collecting DVD changed at all? And I can honestly say no. Uh, I'm still collecting the same thing that I would be collecting if even if there was no YouTube out there. I do enjoy posting these videos and talking to you guys out there about DVDs uh, and showing you off my collection, but I don't like run out and buy a certain series just to show it on YouTube. Uh, I think that's a waste of money and a waste of time to be honest with you and I just don't have the room to do that right now. I'm really struggling trying to reorganize my shelving uh, unit at this time because I'm finding there are so many TV shows right now that I'm interested in seeing or collecting like one season of and giving it a try that I just don't have the room right now. Um, plus I know there's going to be newer shows that coming out that I'm going to want to collect so I'm really struggling to find to get rid of stuff not my whole collection but just certain uh, TV shows that I watched once and never really got into or never watched again so that being said I do enjoy collecting TV shows a lot more than movies and I enjoy talking to other DVD collectors out there and seeing their videos as well and seeing what they have on their shelves and hearing their buying experiences um, I'm not one of those people that go to Target and buy like the exclusive packages either. I tend to buy my stuff strictly on through Amazon.com. Uh, I know a lot of people find bargains at their local DVD shop. My local DVD shop here in Pennsylvania sucks ass. And um, I, I don't know what it is with them, but every time I walked in there, and I quit going in there strictly because of this. Uh, every time I went in there, they never seemed to have what I was looking for. And, um, you know, and then it, it was like overpriced. It's all get out. They Their prices in there were sky high as far as I'm concerned. So I strictly buy all my things through Amazon.com. So I hope that answers your question, uh, Underworld Angel 24 And I uh, hope to hear from you uh, through comments or through a video response. So thanks for subscribing and thanks for watching. See you later.